Uh, imagine you're moving into a new space or you're redecorating and you're not sure uh, how things will look. It's hard to t tell just from a picture like how your new oven will look. So we can actually see right on our tablet what it'll look like. So I have a list of appliances I can pick from, for example. Let's say I want to see what the new uh, gas range will look like. So I just line it up in the space and tap the button. Oops. See if this will work. Okay, there we go. And it pops right in. Oh, wow. And again, because it's able to track my motion, to zoom in, I don't like pinch to zoom. I actually just step closer or pull away from it in order to to see it. If I want to yeah. see it from the side, I'd have to move to the side. Uh, so I don't know where my tape measure is at home, but I know where my phone is. So yeah. if I just got that in my pocket, it'd be super convenient. So um, maybe I can use the cabinet here. So Sorry, I was going to swap again. <laughs> so um, with this, I can just tap a bunch of spots and get a quick measurement. So it's been a couple more seconds to do it. I can drop a point here, and drop points, and I can get rough measurements for that goes a little bit. Another example where being able to see it in your space is really important to the business. So this is Wayfair, an online uh, furniture retailer. So they have a ton of really awesome furniture, uh, but Ooh. they have a problem where uh, consumers will buy it, they'll get delivered, and when they see it, they say, oh, it's, it's way too big or way too small or just doesn't look right. So it's really helpful for them to be able to visualize what looks in the space. So if I pick one, uh, I'll pick this bar stool, and I just tap on the floor, I can get downloaded, and then it opens up for me. <laughs> so again, I can you know, adjust this, I can rotate it. You can see that there's a little uh, this turn crank that adjusts the height, and then okay. I can see because I can get actually move around it. Yeah. And this is again at scale, so that's that's how tall this would be. Well, it's, it's height adjustable, but. That's what it'll look like. So next I'll show you Constructor. This is a tech demo showing our sort of 3D scanning capabilities. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. So here you can see the depth data coming in through through the device. Yeah. This is kind of the point cloud. And if I hit record and I start scanning, maybe if I switch this to first person, you can see it a little bit better. Wow. <laughs> And this is the space around me. So I'll do a, a pretty quick job, just so you can get the idea. So here's here's a little bit of this kitchen. I can yeah. Stop it. And this is already a 3D model that I can start to explore. Uh, so an important part is you can see this progress bar. So it's actually taking the data that it collected and refining it. So this will come out looking uh, much cleaner in about four or five minutes. Right. Here you can see uh, some that we made before. So here is this example of this back corner. Oh wow. And this is actually made by another reporter who I just handed the tablet over and they just mm -hmm. painted it around. So this is you know what you can get uh, on your first day with the app. If you spend a little bit more time and you know you're you're used to the app, these are some scans that we did within the office. Wow. And so this is the sort of quality that you can see. That's amazing. And this is again with the same app and the same you know, type of device, the same development kit. Yeah, yeah. That constructor is an API that mm -hmm. other developers can use. So here's an example uh, of a third party who's using it. Uh, this is from Phenomena, it's called World. So it's a, the game's kind of a fun, quirky sandbox game where you kind of discover how to play it as you go. But for the demo, I'll just drop a few things in so you can see how the interactions work. So I'm going to hit start. And I'll just drop some people in. I can, I can talk to each other. And then I'll go in my house. <laughs> and then, so there's, there's these fun interactions, like if you have a sprout and you want it to bloom, you add a cloud and have it rain, and then this uh, sprout will start blossoming. <laughs> and so because it knows the shape of the space, uh, I'm able to do like pretty pretty cool stuff. So here's this faucet that I attach to the side, and I can turn it on, and it'll actually start flooding, flooding my space with water. 
if I, I have these things, they'll, they'll float. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, if I want to get rid of the water, I'll add a little drain hole oh. and unplug it, and everything will start draining away. And so, oh, yeah, and it's aware of the, where the walls are, so the cabinets, so everything flows like how you'd expect it to. So these are kind of. Uh, uh, Interactions that you can do when you really understand your physical yeah, space. Yeah. And I'm holding still for the cameras, but you know, I could always be walking around and exploring this as I go. Uh, this is called Dinosaurs Among Us from the American Museum of Natural History. And I can skip the intro video. So they worked with Guide to Go to produce kind of the tango take home version of their uh, museum exhibit. Uh, so they have a bunch of dinosaurs that you can pick, and so um, I'm take a couple steps back to okay. space. That, I, Let's dive right into the Velociraptor. Yeah, <laughs> Velociraptors are pretty small, but they're not that small. So this is a full-scale Velociraptor, and then I can move around him just like I could, you know, the other things because it has the location right there. I can get like right up into his face if I want to. Very cool. Um, so a cool thing we can do is, because all of these are at scale, uh, I, I often like to drop a T-Rex at scale, but it wouldn't fit in here. So what I'm going to do instead is shrink this guy down. Okay. And so this is like 10% scale. <laughs> and so I can drop a T-Rex next to him. And then again, because we know where the floor is, you can go next to him. And so that is a yeah, T-Rex at scale. At scale. Right next to the Velociraptor. Let me get rid of the side. Very cool. <laughs> you just yeah, think so. <laughs> Showing off for you. Yeah, so um, you yeah, really can get a sense of scale of just how big a dinosaur yeah, is yeah. when you can like walk around it at full yeah. scale.